Well, at the present time, the only FDA-approved testicular implant is the Terosa silicone-coated saline-filled device, uh, which is made by Coloplast. Well, usually the implants are placed at the time of an orchiectomy. So these are usually done uh, inguinally, and the space, the incision is big enough so that a prosthetic can be placed uh, without difficulty or enlargement of the incision. Uh, typically, after the testicle is removed, uh, a space is redeveloped uh, in the scrotum, and the prosthetic is just placed down uh, into the scrotal area, the wound is irrigated with some antibiotic-laced uh, solution. Uh, some physicians feel the need to sew it into place. My personal feeling is that the testis is an organ that is mobile, it moves up and down, and we should leave it that way. So uh, I do not put a suture in. Uh, I think there may be uh, risks with suturing it to the skin, a higher risk of erosion or infection. So my personal preference is just to place it in the scrotum. And we typically uh, teach the patients, uh, once they're not having any pain in that, in that area, to pull down maybe once or twice a day uh, postoperatively to make sure that it doesn't migrate back up. Typically, if the procedure is done as part of the orchiectomy, there is no higher incidence of pain requirements than would be for an orchiectomy. In a patient who uh, is having it placed uh, in, during a separate time, they will have some discomfort that will require um, oral uh, narcotics, usually for 24 to 48 hours afterwards. Sometimes we'll do a uh, high scrotal, low inguinal incision in someone who uh, is not having an orchiectomy at the same time. I, I like to make the incision in an area that is not overlying uh, the prosthetic. So we'll make it a little high, uh, drop the prosthetic down, and that way the incision is not lying right over the prosthetic. One thing that I think is very important is to try to make sure that the incision is small and also to try to make the incision so it is not over the suture line. What I like to do is make the incision either high scrotum, low inguinal, and then slide it down uh, into the scrotum. And that way the prosthetic is not sitting directly over the suture line. 